Our gut bacteria are responsible for everything from our brain health to our immune function to our weight and so much more. So what do you need to know about how SSRIs like Prozac affect our gut microbiome? Find out as I discuss the latest research. This is The Dr. K Show. I'm Dr. Karthik Ramanan. I help ambitious individuals end self-criticism with tools and strategies to create optimal everyday mental health. If we're just meeting for the first time and you need to silence that critical voice in your head to get out of your own way and live a purposeful life, well, I am here for you. I encourage you to subscribe right now. It's showtime. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter responsible for regulating mood, social behavior, sleep, memory, sexual desire and function, and quite possibly more. Low levels of serotonin are associated with depression. So to address that issue pharmaceutically, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, were created. These are drugs like Prozac. The idea is keep more serotonin available to improve mood. 95% of serotonin lives in your gut. We know that our gut microbiome affects a myriad of other things, including our mood. So how would an SSRI like Prozac interact with the 100 trillion or so bacteria and microbes that live in our gut? Well, a recent study out of UCLA published in Nature Microbiology examined just that. This research team's previous study examined the bacteria Teresobacter sanguinis and discovered that this bacteria actually signals our gut cells to produce more serotonin. Remember that appropriate levels of serotonin equals better mood. So it would make sense that we would wanna protect the species to ensure that it lives happily in our gut. Are you getting value out of this so far? If so, smash that like button right now and let's get back into it. The team's latest research found that when they added fluoxetine or Prozac, this bacterial species grew to lower levels. This is a bacteria that thrives on serotonin in our gut and promotes our body to create more. But Prozac, in its effort to keep more serotonin available in the brain, appears to create an environment in the gut where fewer of these bacteria can thrive, thereby producing less serotonin in our gut. Seems a little counterproductive, right? So does that mean don't take Prozac or SSRIs? Look, everyone's situation is different and I never give individualized medical advice here. But one thing is clear, whether you take an SSRI or not, the health of our gut microbiome is essential for optimal everyday mental health and our health and longevity in general. And my best tip for that is to just eat lots of fiber in the form of whole plant foods. If you're interested in learning more about the microbiome as it relates to anxiety and depression, check out episodes 8 and 10 of The Dr. K Show. Question of the day, what's your experience with antidepressants? Let me know in the comments below and I will share my experience with you in Bring the Heat coming right up. Today's progress success is brought to you by Don Rimel of Our Nomadic Story. You can find him at Our Nomadic Story on Instagram. He says, when I showed up at Grow With Video Live, I felt like an imposter. Through the training and networking, I now know that I am not an imposter. I am a creator at an earlier season of my journey. If my content can help even just one person and allow myself to not publish that content, I'm doing them a disservice. Don, you are awesome and I believe in your greatness. I remember the day that my doctor offered to prescribe me Prozac. I was 19 years old and despite the support of my family and a few close friends, I felt like I had no purpose in this world. The identity I thought I had was shaken and I wasn't able to create meaning from the events of the previous few years. I was miserable and truly without any hope. But something inside me that day said no. I didn't want to go down the path of antidepressants. Something inside me made me realize that my journey was to figure it out. Why? I don't know, but I just had to. And I'm so glad I did because those five years of depression eventually made me who I am today. Look, if you're taking antidepressants, that's okay. I am the last 
person to judge. I have seen enough patients and their heartbreaking stories. I've been through enough pain myself to recognize that we are all on our own path and what's right for one person might be wrong for another. I am suggesting, however, that you heed these words. You will find your way. All you have to do is take one day at a time, make a little bit of progress, create a little bit of meaning, give yourself an opportunity for life to come back around. If you keep trying, it will, I promise. I've been to rock bottom three times in my life, and each of those times has led to skyrocketing growth and purpose in my life. Do something nice for yourself today. Eat more whole plant foods. Get some sun, move your body. Imagine you've got a blank canvas for you to create your future because that's exactly what you can and will do with your actions today. If you're feeling depressed, you are not broken. Your brain is simply rewiring itself more effectively during depression than other people can even do when they're feeling okay. This is your time. You will shine. Just keep going. Don't let your pain go to waste. I believe in your greatness.